Thank you for stopping by. I just have to say something. Today, we have a young Asian couple out of California that got harassed by some jerk that made a bunch of racial slurs. And the thing that bothered me the most about this outside the racial slurs, obviously, was the way this young couple handled this situation could have been better. And this is the advice that I would give my four kids uh, that are from young adults to, to teenagers on how to handle this type of situation. While there's a bunch of anti-police rhetoric in California, this is a situation where the police could have certainly helped. But before we dive into this video, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell and share this video. Let's dive into this one. Two people harassed with anti-Asian and homophobic remarks while eating at an in and out in San Ramon, and all of it was caught on camera. The two were recording themselves trying to, uh, with food, when a man started talking to them and then started to harass them. Crown Force Amanda Hari has uh, talked to one of the victims. What was supposed to be a fun night for a video on TikTok ended up taking a scary turn. One thing that had run through my mind was like, I, you know, I'm not sure if I'm going to like, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. I'm not sure if I'm going to come out of the situation alive tonight. Irene Kim was with a friend at an in and out in San Ramon Saturday night when a man approached them from behind. Are you guys filming yourself eating? Yeah. You're weird. <laughs> they tried to laugh it off. <laughs> that really did actually just happen. But Kim says they were in shock. I sensed for danger was just like, like the alarm bells were ringing and I was like, I was just very, very, very nervous. The man ended up coming back to their table and that's when things escalated even more. Japanese or Korean? Oh, I'm Korean. Yeah, you're Korean. Kim Jong-un's boyfriend. You're Kim Jong-un's boyfriend? You know, we have been acquainted. You had gay sex with him. Kim's friend nervously tried to play along with the man, but the situation only got weirder. Can I take you out to dinner? Okay. First things first, that little voice inside your head is there for a reason. It's helped the human race survive through many, many, many encounters. That's why nature put it there for us. So when your spider senses are going off telling you, hey, this guy's dangerous and should be avoided, do so. Don't antagonize, don't escalate. Try to do everything you can to de-escalate the situation. But listen to that inner voice. Don't let that slide. And I know there's going to be some of you out there that are like, why should I need to de-escalate? I haven't done anything wrong. And you're absolutely right. But you don't know how crazy this person is. If he's willing to approach you in an open public area, in a restaurant, and start antagonizing you and start making racist uh, slurs at you and homophobic slurs to you, can you honestly evaluate how far this guy's willing to take it? Come on. I'm you sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My you bad. I didn't say anything. You didn't say anything. No, sir. I'm like, it's spit in your face. The man goes on to curse at Kim and her friend and then calls them a homophobic slur. She tried to get a quick video of the man while his back was turned. Near the end of their final interaction, you can hear the man tell them he's going to wait outside for them. Okay, so as he's leaving the store, he's telling you he's going to wait for you outside. Once he leaves that store, you need to immediately call 911, explain the situation, and keep your butts inside that store. Again, I know there's going to be some out there that are like, well, I've got my OC spray, or I've got my, I've got my Glock, or I've got my pistol, and I'm just going to leave as I want. Again, you don't know how far somebody's willing to take things. And my point is, why would you voluntarily get into a gunfight if it needed to escalate to that point? Keep yourself and those that you love safe. And let the police deal with this asshole. Never engage voluntarily into a potential act of violence. It's not wise because you may not come out on top. He's very much he just was staring at us for maybe a solid like 15 minutes. And we kept on averting like our gaze. We're looking to the side. We're looking down. We're looking up. We're looking at each other. But every single time I, I would just glance in that direction, he would just be staring. Like he would just be staring at us. <laughs> and you know, he was, was staring with a lot of malicious intent in his eyes. Kim and her friend waited until the in and out closed before leaving. They had an employee make sure the man wasn't still waiting for them. Again, I'm one of those people that truly believe you should live your life in peace and not in fear of criminal elements. It is not the job of that employee to make sure that that guy is gone and to make sure that you're safe. That was the job of the police. And what if this guy still had been out there? It could have taken up to 30 to 40 minutes for a cop to show up. 
You should never have your life encumbered by some lunatic or by criminal activity. That's the job of our police departments and our politicians to make sure our streets are safe. Since posting the video on TikTok and Twitter, it has millions of views. It even caught the attention of San Ramon Police Chief Denton Carlson. They're investigating and believe this man in the silver Mustang with Florida plates was exhibiting similar behavior Sunday morning. Amanda Harry, Cron 4 News. I'm glad that this couple was not injured in any way. It, it is just a total disappointment that we still have jerks like this in our society. But they're being called out. Everybody's got a camera now. And I got good news because um, the follow-up video to this one, they did catch this asshole. And I'm sure there's going to be a price to be paid. I wanted to thank you for stopping by. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And leave your comments below. Thank you for visiting. I just have to say something.